<sighs> Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. I just did your card, your reading for who is the person coming into your life. Um, but I, I found a lot of cards that felt heavy in your reading also when it comes to your love life. At first I realized that you're leaving something behind here, like someone that uh like they weren't focusing their intentions really on you i think this person may have been driven by you know money or something like that how things look the outward appearance so you're someone who's now moving from your heart space creating in that way i feel like very tender and compassionate you know i feel like you're very a very soft and homey person like you're comfortable to be around this person I feel was after another kind of life and may have had someone else focusing on your person that you're leaving in the past could be an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn and they may have been focusing on someone who is an air sign but I feel like the person that they are focusing on somehow is spying on you I don't know how they're doing it but they're they really have their eyes on what you have going on so this situation caused you to be in the nine of swords energy you know that heartbreak that loss of trust can't sleep so that's what I'm feeling it caused it to be in that nine of swords energy and then you had to put an end to that you wanted to come out of that you were waiting for the brand newness that comes after that feeling but i feels like i feel like the feelings still linger a bit within you taurus at this moment but you're really leaving it behind because you're governed by your emotion you're working through your heart space more maybe you have water in your sign maybe you have um cancer cancer in your birth chart you're working with your water intuition now you may also have fire in your chart leo sagittarius aries okay also i feel like you feel a little bit burned because you have to make some type of a decision that's kind of weighing on your shoulder you're wondering what do i do now maybe how do i move forward i feel like you have an inter inheritance coming into you like financial abundance i have the ace of pentacles here this is like a gift from the universe of worthiness um, value could be financial abundance that's helping you to feel more secure in yourself and it's also causing you to maybe have a little bit of trust issues going on not knowing what to choose not knowing if people are really just maybe after you for your money so I'm not sure if that's the feeling you're having but you want to manifest a relationship where there's equal give and take here in love just feelings of satisfaction equal give and take you know balance you want to feel nourished nurtured in a relationship instead of depleted like you were feeling before I think you're also there's some there's an energy coming into you that's helping you to to bring this healing into your life first this balanced nurturing taking care of yourself going out in nature connecting with your water yes i see you may have a water sign in your chart looking like cancer really honestly because cancer is the fourth house so you may want to tap into your water healing energies now to really transform the feeling of stuckness that you are feeling currently or maybe that's what you have done already use the power of water to find healing and balance rejuvenation to kind of show you how to view the situation from a higher perspective oh my god <laughs> from a higher perspective so you have a brighter outlook on what has been going on who you can trust 
um, I feel like you're indecisive for real about making some decision of whether you're to move on or not. You maybe have your foot in the door a bit, but not moving toward a specific thing that you know will be of benefit to you. I think the past keeps holding you back that energy of feeling dis depressed and not knowing what to do. Maybe someone is coming to you and telling you that they they need funds or something from you. And you don't know how to trust this person. Maybe it's someone that you live with. Someone that's of dark complexion and possibly a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person also is of your heart. You guys share things in common. It, maybe um, you guys are connected by your emotions. There's an emotional connection with the person that you're living with. Or that's coming into you. This person wants to come into you with equal give and take though. They're already coming with something to offer you. But I feel like you have an issue with feeling like you give. You like you, Maybe you give too much or you need to establish boundaries in yourself. You know, have standards and be graceful in giving and receiving. But knowing when to do so, not being too soft-hearted, too too overly kind. So you're really struggling, maybe with how do I how do I be kind but really protect what is mine? Because I did see that you have an inheritance here. You may want to go into business, or you may be dealing with the law, something having to do with the court. Here, that's uh, making you a bit indecisive and keeping you like trapped in pain. The outcome, though, is that you will succeed. You will get to receive and achieve all that is right for you. So I feel like just continue to find ways to heal yourself at this point. Um, be nice to yourself. be kind rejuvenate drink lots of water try to get enough sleep i feel sleeping will help to ease some of the burdens that you're feeling i don't know if the person that you live with is your wife that you guys could be married but i think something is coming through for you i believe that their success in maybe in business like the case that you probably have in court with someone maybe you're getting a divorce i don't know maybe a divorce is coming your way oh my gosh this reading feels so off i also see the queen of cups here which is cancerian energy oh my god and then just behind that that is the ace of cups so there could be real love being revealed to you through some situation that you're having to deal with now that you're putting behind you Maybe you're going through a situation where you're getting a divorce and someone is looking at all that you have acquired or inherited and they're looking to kind of steal that from you and you feel depressed. You don't know what to do. Why are you so indecisive about where to go? You might want a personal read. I think something is saying just establish boundaries in yourself. See value how valuable you are. What you want to do with your life where you intend to take your your life you know to the highest point to your highest value in self so even though something might have been there that seemed high value or a person i feel like once you value yourself then that's when you get to really interact with this queen of cups energy here ace of cups Right, so value yourself, know who you are, know what you come with, and heal yourself. But yeah, remember, use water, go out in nature, tap into your intuition. Really, I see a lot of intuitive powers in you, in your water intuition, Taurus. You may have, you may be guided by someone who is a water sign as well. Alright, so that's all I have for you today in love. Thank you so much for joining me, Taurus.
until next time take care hope to see you again soon if this reading was helpful to subscribe to my channel bye take care